Welcome. Suit up sequence initiated. Biometric signature required. Fat suit version 7.43. Ready for deployment. Please engage gauntlet apertures. Grapnel gun, ready for deployment. Newest upgrades include high tensile wire to aid the navigation of environments and retrieval of distant objects. Calibrating targeting, please fire grapnel gun at target. Grapnel gun targeting calibrated. Forensic scanner. Ready for deployment. Software update allows for crime scene visualization and multi-layer analysis. Calibrating diagnostics. Please scan target. Diagnostics calibrated. Batarangs ready for deployment. Aerodynamically designed for rapid flight and high impact. Calibrating targeting. Please use a batarang to hit the target. Batarangs equipped to utility belt. Hit three targets to continue calibration. Batarang targeting calibrated. Batsuit calibration complete.
Sir, you're here. Please let me know when I can brief you on the situation. Must we relive this so often, Master Bruce? Have you got something to tell the night? Activating target range. Excellent shot, sir. Simulation ended. I'm afraid I have rather concerning news. Robin failed to report in last night, and now I'm unable to reach Nightwing as well. It could be coincidence, sir, but it's unlike them not to respond. Hopefully the back computer can help you pinpoint their location. Collecting blood sample. Unable to process blood sample. Sample analysis. Infected with the Joker's contaminated blood. Minus one, four, twelve. 
severe degenerative atavism, Waylon Jones' bestial appearance, and cannibalistic urges left him unable to integrate with society. A sideshow wrestler turned criminal enforcer, Jones possesses superhuman strength and <laughs> healing abilities. Arlene Quinzel, a.k.a. Harley Quinn. The Joker. Case file. Arca experiments on Bane, led by Dr. Penelope Young, resulted in the creation of Titan Formula. The Joker planned to use the drug to create an army of superhuman henchmen. When Young refused to deliver the Titan Formula, the Joker took control of Arkham Asylum, releasing dangerous inmates, including Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. Scarecrow. When confronted by Batman, the Joker took a massive dose of Titan and transformed into a superhuman monster. When Batman defeated him, the effects of the Titan formula appeared to subside, but the Joker's physiology had... Case file. Arkham, after Batman used the antidote on himself, the Joker attacked him and destroyed the remaining serum. The Joker succumbed to his illness and died, prompting Harley Quinn. Grey Shagul emerged as the mastermind behind Arkham City and the plot to kill its inmates, known as Protocol 10. When confronted, Grey killed himself with his own sword. His body went missing and was The Joker's type overdose left him terminally ill. An affliction he passed on to Batman via a blood transfusion. Case file. Edward Nigma. In Arkham City, Riddler drew Batman back into his deadly games. Wielding his signature cane, he used hostages to secure the Dark Knight's participation.
Simulation ended. I'm afraid I have rather concerning news. Robin failed to report in last night, and now I'm unable to reach Nightwing as well. It could be coincidence, sir, but it's unlike them not to respond. Hopefully the back computer can help you pinpoint their location. I'm afraid I have rather concerning news. Robin failed to report in last night, and now I'm unable to reach Nightwing as well. It could be coincidence, sir, but it's unlike them not to respond. Hopefully the back computer can help you pinpoint their location. Initializing EOI database. Dem Drake, aka activating Robin's location tracker. Searching. Location tracker not detected. Damn it. Nightwing's tracker could still be online. Richard Grayson, activating 
Nightwing's location tracker. Searching. Nightwing location. Identify. Nightwing is in central Gotham, but why isn't he responding? I should head to his location. He could be in danger. Sir, I've readied the Batwing and the Batmobile for deployment. If Master Grayson's in trouble, every second may count. Welcome. Please select vehicle. Vehicle selected. Setting navigation coordinates. Godspeed, Master Bruce. Sir, you're nearing Master Grayson's tracking beacon. Have you found him? Why wasn't I here? Why didn't I stop it? Data recorder detected. I need to find out who did this. Analyzing Nightwing with the forensic scanner will help me identify the killer. Multiple trauma. Cause of death, cervical fracture. They broke your neck. You must have been in agony when you died. Downloading suit data recorder. Generating reconstruction. You are the best fighter I ever trained. How did they beat you? If I can identify the precise moments when your three main injuries occurred, it might help me establish your killer's identity. I can use the forensic scanner to analyze the reconstruction. No injury detected. Nothing. I need to identify when your injuries were sustained. Nothing here. I need to study the points when you were injured. You dropped your guard before the first blow fractured your jaw. Why hesitate? It goes against everything I taught you. How are your other two injuries sustained? There must be a clue in the reconstruction. Injury found. That's not it. I need to examine the moments when your injuries occurred. Your killer was fast, strong, but that wasn't why they beat you. They knew exactly how you'd fight. Your ribs weren't fractured by this point. That must have happened near the end of the fight. The killer anticipated your wife and cut off your escape. I know you, dick. You'd never back down from a fight. Did you know you were beaten? I'm starting to build a profile of your killer. Studying the fatal blow could provide another clue to their identity. Reached end of reconstruction. You were 
badly injured, no longer a threat. Your killer showed no mercy. Why did the killer flee the scene? What did they see? I'm increasing the radius of the reconstruction. A witness. But who was it? I need to search the reconstruction. See if they left prints behind. A full handprint. The witness was Jackie Flynn, low-level criminal and known associate of the Penguin. I need to pay Penguin a visit. Ending reconstruction. I'm sorry, Dick. I should have been here. If Cobblepot had anything to do with your murder, I'll make him regret it. Sir, are you all right? Perhaps you should take a moment. No time. I'll grieve when I know Robin's safe. Let go of me. Boss, please. Right, Shanks. I'm glad we had this chat. Please don't hurt me. I know you're scared. But hey, at least you're not blown up. I free of this. What's happening? some questions before you start with the bleeding scare tactics? I know why you're here. Your little buddy. Side kicked the bucket, didn't he? Well, I bloody didn't do it! Look, this is all I know. I swear. Last night, one of my boys comes back to the club. Bloody terrified he is. He says he saw your boy done in. Said you'd be after him. Last thing he says before some wanker blows him up and half the bloody iceberg lounge. You want your witness? He's in the morgue. Surprise, bad freak. That won't work. Penguin's men will fire. Turn around, Bat. Slowly. <laughs> I'll do as he says if I... Stay right there. Move an inch, and you're dead. The Batwing is inbound, sir. Please identify the targets to be neutralized. Oh, oh! Uh, I guess my wanker's murder isn't getting solved after all! <laughs> Very good, sir. What's your matter, Batman? Scared? It'll be over soon! <laughs> what the hell is that? is related to Master Grayson's murder. There must be a clue in that morgue. The coroner's report may contain clues to assist with my analysis of the bodies. The victims of the iceberg lounge bombing the coroner identified a piece of shrapnel in one of the bodies. Looks like a fragment of the bomb's detonator. I need to analyze the bodies with the forensic scanner. Find enough fragments and I can determine the origin of the device. A piece of the detonator lodged in the adductor muscle of the victim's thigh. 
There could be shrapnel anywhere in the bodies. I can analyze both the bone and muscle layers by switching modes on the forensic scanner. A detonator fragment lodged in the victim's skull. There could be more of the detonator shrapnel in the remaining two victims. Detonator fragment buried in the manubrium sterni. Partial serial number. A fragment of the detonator cut through the victim's soleus. There isn't enough here to trace the detonator's origin. I need to examine the third victim. Gotham City Coroner's Office autopsy report performed on 4 30, October 23rd by Dr. McCarthy. No assistant present. Entry one. So, what do we have here? A bombing crate. Third one this month. Uh, victims are three Caucasian males, all mid to late. Part of the bomb's detonator punctured the lower abdomen. A detonator fragment lodged in the victim's clavicle. The fragments are mangled, twisted, but if I use the bat computer to simulate their original shape, I should be able to reconstruct the detonator and identify the serial number. Generating reconstruction.
the device was registered to City Vision Demolitions. They're demolishing an old sewer system beneath Founders Island. The sewer could be the killer's hideout. If I target our scanners on this area, maybe I can pick up Robin's transmitter. Scanning. Decrypting radio signal. Alfred. Batman. The sewer. Crap. He's alive, but in danger. I'm coming, Tim. Sir, that sewer system has been ostensibly abandoned for some time. Whoever trapped Robin may well have made preparations for you. 